Hey guys, this is Sonia from Budapest. I'm checking in with my friend Tom and uh, I decided that I'm gonna start uh, this uh, series of uh, people who relocated to Budapest and ask them what their experience are. And so the first question is, Tom, why Budapest? And if you could introduce yourself quickly. Uh, I'm Tom Langston. I'm a retired government worker and real estate investor. And uh, Budapest to me became the ultimate choice based on uh, travel around Europe to try to find the best value and lifestyle for uh, investment and retirement. And uh, the central uh, location of Budapest, which was considered Eastern Europe at one time and has now been classified as uh, Central Europe, the, the airport links, the rail links make it a, a great value and a great lifestyle. And Tom, when you decided that you're going to move here, you started to looking for somebody who can help you and so how did you find me? Well, uh, I was traveling in Budapest and uh, was here for 13 days and went around the real estate windows as most tourists do, looking in the windows, wishing and wondering what it would be like. And so uh, looking around in the real estate windows and so the journey started from being a tourist looking in the windows and I found an example on the internet and centered around to all the major players on the big avenues of Budapest and sending three or four uh, emails without a single response I was perplexed. Yeah, I, I, I actually, I actually, sorry for the, sorry for the background noise. We are here at this uh, coffee place, and so they're making the coffee. But yes, like I hear that all the time. I hear that feedback that unfortunately, um, when you reach out, especially like in a foreign language, then usually the agents they don't respond. Which, which I think is probably it's because of the language barriers that they have a lack of experience communicating in a, in a foreign language, which, you know, like picking up the phone and talk about business, it's not an easy thing to do for a, for a native Hungarian. Yeah, and so uh, through my journey, I came across on the internet, Sonia and Eric's uh, company, and I was intrigued by the uh, fact that she was a buyer's only agent and the only one in Hungary at the time and was both licensed in the United States with US experience in real estate and with Hungarian background and extensive Hungarian experience too. And Sonia responded immediately and put together a portfolio of 20 apartments for me to visit and take a look at. And, uh, and then we started from there, right? So that's right. first we, we connected over Zoom and then, um, and then uh, we were like, we just you know, started the conversation from there until that you were ready to come down to Budapest and take a look at the properties. Yes, and what was so comfortable about that is the uh, sales process once I arrived in Budapest was so organized by Sonia. And uh, we were the scheduled three days that we went looking at properties was uh, on time, uh, comprehensive, and but the most refreshing part of the sales approach was that there was no pressure. There, she kept repeating, "No apartment in Budapest is a valid answer. I want you to do what's right for your life," and that has made all the difference in the process. And we, quite frankly, I was skeptical whether I could accomplish this, and without Sonia's help, I couldn't have done it because. Uh, and now, like two years fast forward. Two years forward, uh, the value of the real estate is just phenomenal. It's gained some value, but I'll have to tell you, I love the property even more now, and I love living in Budapest more now than I ever thought. I thought I'd be here 50% of the time, now I'm here 90% of the time. And which area are you in? I'm in the... Uh, Six district. Six district, yeah. In the in the opera. And the opera district, area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Near the Hard and, Rock and Hotel. And you like it? You like it there? That's a good uh, for foreigners. That's a good uh, 
value and then also a wonderful everything's there all the services are there english is spoken quite well in that just in the sixth district would you recommend that area for families or would you recommend it more for like professionals single people or couples? I would recommend the 6th and the 5th district for single and couples and for families I would look on the Buddha side. Right, mm -hmm. I agree. It's like, it's a wonderful mix of two cities that has a great synergy and uh, I think that Budapest is going to be the Paris of the East sooner than people realize. I agree. And. Uh, 100% wonderful experience all the way so far, working with Sonia and all the people in Budapest to make it what has become more of my home than I ever expected. And how easy, like we were just talking about, like you came back from Vienna, and how easy to go over to Vienna? Really? Oh, Vienna is just one, two hours and 35 minutes. And uh, I was back in my apartment 25 minutes after arriving from the train station. The public transport is award-winning in Budapest and so comfortable and easy to use. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So thank you, Tom. Thank you so much for uh, checking in with me and thank you for sharing your experience with the audience. And, and thank you guys for watching. Thanks we'll, for watching. We'll come back next time with more stories. Thank you.